What's going on everyone, it's your boy Rand and today I'm back with another video. So, again, massive thank you for all the support and all the appreciation and all the love that you guys have been giving me in all my videos. And I do feel like with the consistency, um, it will just get better in time and I will be able to reach my aim and goal of getting to 1,000 subscribers. So today you join me in the passenger seat of my Audi S3 and the reason I'm in the passenger seat is purely because the lighting is a little bit better and it's easier to attach the GoPro mount to uh, my iPhone so yeah today's video is going to be about fuel so purely about fuel and um, which is a running cost of this Audi S3 or one of the running costs of this Audi S3 and the reason why I wanted to make a video purely on fuel is because I've always wanted to from the beginning. So as soon as I got this car, I thought I'm going to definitely make a video about, um, you know, what, how's this car to drive in terms of the fuel efficiency. Somebody commented on my video uh, regarding a question about fuel. And I thought instead of commenting back, which I am going to, um, I thought, let me make a video about it because I'm sure it'll, it'll be quite a popular topic. Um, because I think when I bought this car, that's definitely something I was wanting to uh, look into because prior, coming from a 1.4 Ecomotive Seat, uh, the fuel was amazing, so that was going to be a massive that was going to be a massive increase in my kind of monthly financial outgoings. So it was something I had to plan around. In terms of fuel, it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is to give you a really good understanding as to what this car is like on fuel and how efficient it is. I'm going to give you a few examples, and then we can disc then I'll discuss the examples. So if I fill this car up with a full tank, and I always fill it up with either Shell V Power 99 or 99 Momentum from Tesco, they're the only two fuel brands I use, which are premium fuels. Um, so if I fill this car up, it's around £65, I think. On a full motorway journey, so no like um, urban driving or town driving, if I pure motorway driving, I will get 420 plus mile range out of this car, and that is pretty accurate. I haven't done it yet. But I am very confident and the reason why I'm confident is because I have done some motorway driving where I've got some really good range so yeah on a full motorway journey so if I drove from where I live so in West Yorkshire all the way down to Scotland or all the way down to London I will easily do over 420 miles from that full tank so it is good that's me in efficiency uh, give so yeah actually no that's me in any of the driving modes as long as my uh the it's not in the sports gearbox setting so the valves are closed and stuff uh but i'll tend to drive it in efficiency i'll have cruise control on 70 miles per hour and that is literally ne that's consist that's a consistent 70 miles per hour from start to stop uh not really like planting my foot or any you know throughout any time of the journey because if i do that will definitely um hinder the uh, chances of me getting that those 420 miles plus range second example so i did a 28 mile journey one way i would say it was about 25 miles motorway driving and the remaining three or four miles were like maybe just like urban driving i got 44 miles per mile per gallon which is absolutely mm -hmm. excellent in this car that was 70 miles per hour again i didn't really uh, plant my foot so that sh hopefully that uh, from those two examples, hopefully you've got some kind of uh, brief idea as to what it's like on fuel. It's not too bad. The way I drive is I do try I do try to drive quite um, conservatively because I don't really need to batter my car left, right, and centre. However, I do plant my foot occasionally just to hear the exhaust. And now that I've got a, actually that's saving that for another video, but. Um, yeah i do plant my foot every now and then and yeah so on an average week to work i do 28 miles um twice in a day so so i tend to go to the office three times a week so that's 180 miles i do a week in this car for me to do 180 miles a week which is mixed between motorway and city driving i will need to put in 25 to 30 pound a week so it's not too bad and that is me sometimes planting it as well just like very you know the occasional just kind of like oh i'm just gonna put my foot down whatever um it's not bad okay so they're the examples of what it's like um when you want it to get um good miles per gallon and when you want it to be good on fuel if you're planting it so when i go out with the uh, a few of my friends and uh, we drive around the gearbox is in sport it's in individual mode so it's got like the most sportiest settings driving settings as soon as it hits to 90 degrees i'm literally like i'm planting it most of the time uh throughout that journey i can put in so the best example to give you is i put in 25 pounds I got 155 miles range and literally I think I drove no more than I was out for just over about two hours plant we were just like having some fun safely 
um and yeah that 25 pounds was i think by the time i got home i had 50 miles range left so listen if you plant it it's going to be expensive but this way if you're heavy footed and you have this car i'd say you're looking at putting in a full tank a week is what you'd want to put in if you're quite heavy footed and you love to have fun in your car and you're not really you don't really care about battery in your car or saving money full tank a week now i am i'm a mixture of both worlds i love this car and it's so convenient and it can be efficient but if i don't want it to be efficient it you know it doesn't have to be so hopefully you can get some kind of idea as to what this car is like in terms of fuel and the costs that come along with the fuel uh, in owning this car um like i said if you want it to be efficient it can be efficient and you know you can drive efficiently and plant your foot every now and then and it can still it, and it will be efficient you'll get good miles per gallon um you have to keep filling up but if you're heavy footed then obviously it's a two litre turbocharged engine you're gonna have to easily do a full tank a week if you're very heavy footed but with the examples i've just given you 25 to 30 pounds a week is absolutely fine for me to do 180 miles with occasionally me planting my foot uh, every now and then so yeah hopefully that kind of um gives you a better understanding of what this car's like on fuel it's really not that bad it, obviously it's not as good as my it's, uh, Ecomotive say out but it's really not that bad you know and especially on the motorway this car on a motorway is absolutely brilliant so yeah i can't fault it if you have any other questions relating to the running costs or specific running costs or anything specific to do with this car let me know and i will uh make a video on it but yeah i hope you don't mind me making a video on this topic um because i just thought it was a great question so thank you for that i'm gonna get out of my car now because it's like a sauna and i haven't got the car on so yeah Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications. So when I drop a video, so many more videos coming out um, in the uh, next week or two. So do look out for them. And yeah, uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to, of course, at Randy underscore Sahota. But definitely do share, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate it. And comment below because I absolutely love seeing, you, uh, seeing the questions sarcastic <laughs> or not. But uh, yeah. Thanks guys, peace.